Hey, yeah, I'm going to uh, this new camp this year. My friend went there last year and had a very great time, so I hope I do. Breaking news. Reports show a kidnapper is on the loose in a metro Atlanta area. We're going to make a great movie. We're going to have special effects and green screens and everything. He has kidnapped over 35 kids over the past two years with two boys missing recently. This is going to be the greatest camp experience ever. Man, I hope I get Alex this year. Me too. Who's Alex? Only the greatest counselor ever. He's so cool. Great, he's finally here. I would like for you to meet our wonderful counselor, Alex Mercer. Dude, dude, there's not lighting. Man, it's too bright, it's too early for that. Oh. Some I'm late everybody. Had to tie up some loose ends a little bit, but now that I'm here, my name is Alex Mercer. I've been with this camp for four years. And I know this is going to be a great time working with you guys on film. We're going to learn a lot of stuff. Oh, a kidnapper is on the loose. As far as like different techniques, and I know we're going to have fun at the end of the week. He has kidnapped over 35 kids. I'm excited to see all of your pro Dangerous. This week. I know. Dangerous. And I want to know who's going to Dangerous. 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 Hey! I'm sorry to startle you, but I'm your counselor this week. I'm Alex. I know we're gonna be a very close-knit group this week. Hey, you're so lucky you got Alex this year. Last year, my friend had him and they made this amazing film together. Too bad he's not here this year. Is he dead? No, he went to soccer camp in Kansas. Yeah. You're mine. <laughs> You forgot your name tag. Hey, you've been acting funny lately. What seems to be the problem? I saw you on the news last night as a kidnapper. What? A kidnapper? Man, that's crazy. That is really crazy. I would never do something like that. And even if I did, why would I be in a camp with kids? Why would a camp even hire me? How about this? That's the reason why we're going to spend the whole week together to get to know each other. Hey, we might be best buds, right? Right? Right. Exactly, exactly. Come on, let's, let's continue with the rest of the crew and start working on our film. Cool? All right. I know this week is going to be a great experience. You're going to love it for sure. Let me get something out of here real quick. Um, you might want to tie up your shoes. Thank you. Oh, no problem, man. Always glad. <laughs> Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Let's get back, let's get back. What's up guys, it's Chad Johnson, and today I'm here to announce something very special. We're going to the home of some actual ghosts. Next time you'll see this, I'll be at the mercy of the dead. That's all for now, Bye bye So we finally arrived at Emory University, the site of the hauntings. Two podcasters, Sydney and Clarice, were brutally killed in a daily recording of the show. Ever since, students have reported seeing pale figures roam around campus, and what is described as the ungodly chatter of roommates. Normally, this doesn't happen at a college, so I'm here to check it out. All right, finally set up. Now ready to go ghost hunting. Honestly. So guys, I haven't even been here my first night, and there's already a haunting going on. There's definitely a supernatural explanation for that. 
I seriously need to follow this. This is crazy. Look at that ghost. He's about to terrorize those poor students. I wonder what he's going to do to them. Hey, uh, Clarice, forgot my key. Can you let me in? <sighs> Looks like we caught him off duty this time. Hello? Oh. Sydney, the guy's back. Yeah, he was stalking me in the hallway. Hey, could I possibly come in for an interview? An interview? I don't know. You could follow us around for the day, I suppose. Uh, yeah, sounds good to me. That sounds good to me, too. Sweet. See you tomorrow. See you then. So I got into the residence of the ghosts. When I tried to question them, they attacked me. Guess I'll have to catch them later tomorrow. And I was like, Johnny, you do not look good like that. <laughs> no you guys way. seriously took your victim this early in the morning? Dude, this is our dorm. You visited last night. Whatever. I'm really glad you guys don't have to watch this. The two ghosts are currently mutilating the corpse of a chicken in some sort of disturbing ritual. Come on, man. We're just having lunch. And ghosts can't even digest food. We're just stress eating because of you! I got a pretty good track record with the ghosts today. I'm gonna do something new to interact with them. Ow! What the heck, dude? Why didn't that ghost hear you? It's complicated. You know what, Chad? You've gone way beyond just filming our day. I won't have to do that if you guys anything film worthy. Like what? Like proper haunting, any sweet eye candy for that sweet ad revenue. Well, you know, I think I speak for both me and Sydney when I say we're done. We're going back to our dorm. Please don't knock. So, the ghosts got more elusive as the day got later. So I'll definitely catch them in the morning. Wow, he's insufferable even for a vlogger. You know, if he wants to scare his viewers so bad, we might as well just do it. Hmm. Now, that's an idea. I am the one who died with their brains still intact. Hey guys, I was hoping to get some footage today. Well, guys, guys, what's going on? I don't know what the robot goes in sleeping, but... I'm back from Emory. As it turns out, there are no hauntings whatsoever. So I've decided to make this my last project. I'm shutting off my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I won't see you next time. Good choice.
technology, but some question their technique. What was that? It's been almost two years since the landlord has brought me here and I... <clears throat> Did I say it again? Since the American government brought me here and I'd say I've adjusted pretty nicely. I mean, sure, I've had a few bumps along the road, but who doesn't, right? Overall, I'd say I've done a pretty good job. What's this for? Come on. Come on, landlord. It's not due already, is it? Dear government mandated freak show, in light of the disappearance of your past five roommates, caretaker, they're sending you a babysitter. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what do you want? Hi, I'm Banks. Call me Banksy. You heard I was coming, right? My turn. I'm your caretaker. Is that your babysitter? Go away! I heard some students here at Emory were having some behavioral issues, and it was nothing that I hadn't heard before. I just had to make sure that she didn't act like she had been for her and her roommate's sake. So, are you aware of what happened to her past roommates? Yeah, I know she killed a couple people, but she's a pirate. Anybody in my shoes would do the same thing. He knows what I'm talking about. Oh, don't go in there! Get... No! This is the worst job ever. The only thing that could make this worse is a dead body. Yeah, Once I got there, I wasted no time getting to the reintegration process. I was skeptical at first. I mean, what major is there for someone who loots and pillages for a living? But then I realized that the answer was staring me right in the face. I still needed a way to pay for it, though. So, what do you think you could bring to this company? Uh, an old-fashioned charm. And why have you chosen Starbucks? Because of the mermaids, of course. That is a mermaid on the front, right? Well, the lady in black told me to do what I know, and I know mermaids. All right, it seems like you qualify. Do you have any last questions? Yeah, what's the conversion from dollars to doubloons? You'd be surprised what can be a deal breaker with people. I won't cut my hair. I have a tattoo. I am a pirate from the 1750s with murderous tendencies.
I wouldn't say I was disappointed in Bonnie. I would just say that she needed discipline, strength, and some tough love to get through a tough time. And I would say I gave that to her. Hey, Captain Jack, are you okay? Because I think I have something that'll make you feel better. A monastery to roll? No. Movie night. Movie night? Is that a French thing? No, it's something normal people do when they're sad. Come on. Um, I don't want to. She drove my car into a tree, which is a setback in our progress. She said something about Marty McFly and going back to her time. Some nonsense. I can't say I wasn't let down. But who knows, maybe we can keep moving forward. I may not be as much of an Ella all the time now, but I still find a way to be a pirate now and then, in my own way.